Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Let's start at the beginning. Thailand, a country known for its street food, monkeys, and power lines? This spaghetti wiring is all throughout Southeast Asia and has become somewhat of a tourist attraction in its own right. And there's just like a bunch of them that are just hanging loose like. But how did it get this bad? Defect. Are they dangerous? Love the safety. And is the Thai government doing anything about it? Well, in this video from dodgy socket outlets <laughs> to an interview with a Thai electrician 33 kb, 33,000 volt. Uh, yeah. I'll be experiencing the funniest, <laughs> most educational, it comes down to all of these, alive, and scariest moments of my life. All to find the truth behind Thailand's crazy power lines. Almost 20 years ago, I arrived in Thailand for a boys' weekend, and I remember stepping off the plane thinking how bad the electrical was. It was one of the first things that I noticed. But back then I was just a wee apprentice and now, last night, I once again landed in Thailand with my family for a family holiday and I'm gonna check how much has changed in 20 years with Thailand's electrical. So the first thing that I noticed is that they have the EU plug, none of that like British UK crap. Um, and then you can, but check this out. You stick that in, that's in. Look how, look how flimsy that is. And I thought maybe that's not how it goes. Maybe you need to shove it in harder, but that's it. Look, watch this. Oh shit. Oh no, wait. Broken something. Look. Is that the right way? Look at, look at the burn marks on it. That's it. <laughs> and of course, because it's AC, we can go reverse polarity, but seriously, that is insane. And I've got my, my universal plug here, which I have no idea why we've got this. Why have we got this insulated bit? I mean, no earth, of course. Why would you need that? Um, and that's on. That is absolutely insane. Then we can go out, try and see what the switchboard looks like. Um, can't see. Where do they power this thing from? Switchboard? I suppose they don't have the switchboard in their rooms? What's this? Ooh, cable way, that's cool. So that there, it looks like at least there's some sort of organization to it. That might be a single phase supply up there. And then we've got maybe three phase, neutral, three phases. And then all sorts of, I have no idea what that is. But I mean, I saw worse in town. This looks okay. It's kind of okay standards maybe. Don't know. Still don't know where the switchboard is. I'm gonna have to go for a hunt a bit later. After searching the resort for this bloody switchboard and only finding coconuts and this guy down this hole, I eventually was dragged away for something called family time. However, little did they know, the electrical shindig was just getting started. I have no idea how you would begin to diagnose this freaking spaghetti mess. Like, at least I can see on the transformer you have HV, or at least what I think is HV, coming into LV, and it runs into this conduit up and along here, but what the f is that? Oh yes, baby. At least it's nice to see the Schneider stuff in here though. 
I love that it's not locked though, so I can inspect everything. It's really nice. It's actually not too far away from some of the, the bad stuff I've seen in Melbourne. Yeah, just put that back. I've hit the jackpot. I think at least their like primary distribution with their uh, transformers are, are pretty good. I mean, it's just like all the stuff on the secondary. I like it. Day two, and the girls decided they wanted some shopping time, but when the girls are away, the boys will search for monkeys. Okay, so we're heading up to Monkey Hill, see if the monkeys know anything about the Thailand wiring standards. Uh, maybe they can shed some light on where this hidden switchboard is. Look, it's not like I was scared of the monkeys. <laughs> they were just a little bit bigger than I thought they'd be. <laughs> But I finally built up the courage to ask one of them this hard-hitting question. I wonder if the monkeys know any of the wiring rules. Hey mate, what colours do you need to use? No, no. I'm responsive. Turns out all they wanted to do was piggyback rides and drink on the side of the road. Not too dissimilar from the UK Sparkies. Anyways, after the monkeys, we got back early to the resort, which gave me some time to search for that bloody switchboard. I'm trying to look for... What's this one? <laughs> Jackpot, baby. <laughs> oh, we've got a 150 amp main circuit breaker. This must be for the whole side of this building. Again, look. It's good to see Schneider getting a run. So each of this looks like each of the apartments has 32 amp supply. And what are they running with? White and black. So that's kind of American, yeah? With all your neutrals. Blue, and each one is at least on. Well, it looks like these ones down the right hand side are on RCD, and these ones are not. Nice to see the escutcheon has been replaced. How do you get to this? One? So it's another main circuit breaker. <laughs> not bad. See, I don't understand that there was just like one 32 amp breaker for each room, maybe? That doesn't make sense. They, surely they just wouldn't run one supply in. Where's the breaker for the lights, the power points? Pause! So for those still following along, this is the main distribution board that I just found. I'm confused, because the 32 amp breakers that go out to here should have a subboard for each one of the rooms, which would power your lights and power points. But where is it? I can't find it. Maybe that's the way they but do But just it. as I was on the cusp of my discovery, my search for the hidden switchboard had to wait. So I just spent the last 24 hours with my very sick son who we thought actually had the Thai belly, but in fact, no, he had appendicitis. We had to come to the Bangkok Patong Hospital where it was removed very quickly. But on the bright side, it does give me an opportunity to inspect some more electrical stuff around the hospital. So let's go have a look. So this is interesting, I thought that Potentially all of the cables that sit below what looks like, you know, the, the LV side may have been like a whole heap of communication stuff that was just laid out. But I actually do think potentially a lot of those are LV, 240. I'll show you this example, right? So yeah, we've got like these six, what looks like potentially comms, but they're not. It's like figure eight that goes into a fuse and it's supplied by this um, by this meter here, common meter, it comes down. So all of these are live. It's all poking out. <laughs> it's crazy. I spent the next 48 hours dealing with insurance, charging the iPad, and just being there for my son. I mean, at least the view from the room was pretty cool. Eventually, I tag teamed with my wife, but in some twist of fate, my taxi driver was okay, actually so an electrician. What is your name? Uh, Kenny. Kenny? Yeah. 
Kenny, thank you so much. Kenny used to work as an electrical comms engineer on the power poles. Hardly able to contain myself, I had to confirm my suspicions about the layout. Kenny, you said the the top one uh -huh. is 33 kV, 33,000 volt? Ah, uh, yes. High voltage. High voltage. Yeah, and then step down to low voltage, 20, 220? 220 volt, yeah. Yeah, but all, most of all the cables on the bottom uh -huh. are oh, yeah. communication. Communication, uh, uh, fiber optic and uh, copper wires. Kenny explained that when the internet exploded, there were heaps of communication companies competing for business and little in the way of regulation. So is somebody, if you got a job to go out and put internet on, yeah. you would just pick up off the main line and run a line into their shop? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but so Kenny people. made it clear that not everyone can work on the power lines. I work on all. Yeah. Need uh, I said, yeah, so beyond meter, anyone can work. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, behind the meter. Behind Finally, meter, yeah. I wanted so to know, is the government doing anything about this? In Thailand, try to remove communication wide to underground. Yes. We start, you know, uh, the big city first. Yeah. Kenny yeah. was right. In Bangkok, the Communications and Metropolitan Electrical Authority have both committed to epic projects. This will clean up the city's skies by going underground. They have already made significant progress in the removal and the works will eventually migrate to places like Phuket and other regions. So, how bloody awesome was that? My bolt drive actually used to work on all the communication lines. And the only thing left to do is to find this bloody switchboard and I looked everywhere except for one place and I have no idea whether it's going to work, but this up here is the air conditioner. And I just want to check the wiring, you know, because the only other option I suggest is that probably there's something up here that I can find. So let's check it out. Check this out. Okay. So this. Oh, it's so hard to see. Hang on. Like something out of a freaking horror movie. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> All right. Check this out. So that is the aircon. Nice. That there looks like some sort of junction. And then check this out. They really need to get a better angle. Let's remove that other panel over there. Pause. Maybe it was the excitement, or possibly the pandang sandwich, but right at this moment... You stupid gut. <clears throat> but I couldn't let this stop me. So all these... All these white ones... Oh shit, shit. All these white ones here are neutral, and then you've got black, which is connected to red, so good change. And it just goes off. Oh, here it is. That is our 30 amp main switch. <laughs> there you have it. There is the Thai switchboard. Yes. Thailand is a place where beauty meets chaos. And most chaotic of them all, they're crazy power lines. I came in search of answers and it's been a bumpy ride. But beyond the, wait, hang on. Okay, but beyond the tangled mess, I found a country of innovation, culture, and amazing people. Follow, <laughs> and subscribe. And subscribe your channel, the channel. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Welcome to Phuket. <laughs> Come to Thailand, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs>